I'm begging you, please believe me. I was deceived. That stupid bitch. And after all the good I did her, she had the audacity to lie to me. Huh? Are you out of your gourd? When I came home from work, there was a huge intimidating man waiting for me at my front door. And he actually came to take me somewhere. My condolences. Goodbye. Hey, honey! My name is Akiko Yoshimura, and I'm a 50-year-old housewife. My husband, Takashi, has a stable, ordinary office job. Hinako, our only daughter, has been living on her own since she graduated from university. My husband is also 50 and retirement will be upon us in another 10 years, and we will be able to retire to a quiet life together. Just the two of us. Or that's what I thought, because... Akiko, I have something to tell you. What is it? Actually, I'm... I'm having an affair, you see? What? What are you talking about? I just couldn't believe what Takashi, naturally calm, composed man, said. And thus, I'd like you to sign these papers. He told me so. Takashi extended his arm to hand me a document that had the words divorce form typed at the top. To be quite honest, I had no clue as to the meaning of this document Takashi presented to me. What's wrong? You're not going to sign? No. See, this is all so sudden, and I just can't... I understand. I actually brought someone along tonight. If you could give me a moment. As he said so, Takashi went out for a moment before coming back. Come on now. Come in, come in. Wait a minute. Who is this woman? The woman who walked in was very young. So this was probably the woman Takashi was having an affair with. And I'm going to marry her. Huh? I don't understand. I understand your feelings, Akiko, but I'm also dead serious, too. Give me a break, please. I can't give you a break so suddenly like this. Starting next month, I'm going to be promoted to a better job. My salary will be a lot better, and I shall gladly pay you whatever alimony you want. I'm not going to allow you a hard life after the divorce. I mean, I understand. But do you seriously love this woman, Takashi? I already told you, I'm dead serious. I love Yua with all my heart. And what do you think about this, Miss Yua? I love him too. Of course I love him. So, Miss Yua's words struck me as extremely insincere. Perhaps she didn't love Takashi at all. Moreover, I was most interested in the fact that Miss Yua never said a word of apology to me. I could not believe that a person would go out with a married man, fully knowing he was married, and then agree to marry him was the same person. I couldn't believe my own husband could be sane either, falling in love with such a woman. But there may be nothing I can do about it. Fortunately, my daughter is independent, so the divorce won't affect her much, I expect. What was most painful about this whole situation was how effortless he was pushing me away after being together for so many years. I couldn't even think about living together with anyone so selfish. Hey, you know, I'd like to go home soon. I guess it is pretty late. Hey, Akiko, could you hurry on up and just sign the papers? Seems like the entirety of his attention was on Miss Yua, leaving no more room for me. By the way, Miss Yua, how old are you? Mm, oh, I'm 20. What about you, ma'am? I'm 50. Damn, you're 30 years older than me? That's insane. Why is it insane? <laughs> Come on now, even I'm as old as this madam right here, you know. Wait, really? You sure don't look it. Oh, I don't, do I? Well, that's music to my ears. This is just disgusting. I really could not envision living the rest of my life with a bird brain with the delusions of a young girl. All right, I don't mind divorcing you, but there are a lot of decisions to be made about alimony, division of property, and heck, even this house. It's not like we sign the paper snip snap and we're done. I'd already hired a lawyer to go over the info with me and I have it all written down well on a few documents. <sighs> he was always so careful and cautious about strange things. However, all things read and considered, there wasn't anything in those papers that seemed to place me in a disadvantage after the divorce would be finalized, and so I went on and signed it. I forgot to ask this, but where did you all meet? Dear Takashi often comes to the place where I work. Oh, is that so? Now that I think about it, my husband was indeed coming home later than usual. I asked him why he was late more often, and he only told me that his work had gotten a lot busier. He was always calm and composed, so I took him at his word. 
And now with this turn of events, perhaps he was spending time at Miss Yua's workplace. That's not important. Well then, as alimony and property division, I'll transfer two million to you very soon. That should make your life good enough, right? I'll even pay the rent on this house for a year, and then I'll cancel the lease, so you'll have to take care of moving somewhere else by then. Okay. Oh, and also, tell Hinako I love her. How in the world was someone going to tell her all this? How could you say something so goddamn foolish? It was what I was going to say, but there was no point in arguing at this point. Takashi and Yua then promptly left the house a few moments later. As I stared at the empty living room, I reminisced about all the memories we'd shared here in this house together. Even now, Takashi was no longer part of my life. I just couldn't wrap my head around this reality. Not to mention his new lover was a woman 30 years younger than he, who he'd met at the cabaret she worked at. Just by her demeanor alone, I could sense she was only after his money. Takashi said he was going to be an executive at his workplace, and had probably been sponsoring Miss Yua a lot up until now. She may be taking advantage of the fact that she can enjoy a comfortable life at his side. If that were to happen, my husband would be being deceived brutally. Well, I couldn't live with someone who would fall for such a trap anyway. Now that I think about it, that bastard left the house without looking back at me even once. He was completely head over heels for her. If she really loves Takashi and they can have a happy life together, then maybe it's the right thing to do for them. And divorce among middle-aged folk like him and I is becoming more and more of a common thing nowadays. Maybe this is the best time for me too. I genuinely began to think so. A week later, my daughter Hinako visited me. I'm home! Hinako, you naughty child, you could at least let me know before you come home. Sorry, sorry. I have a day off today, so I had nothing to do, so I thought I'd come home. You sweet. Make yourself comfy. Wait a minute, where's dad? Out on a stroll? I couldn't help but tense up. The reason being, I hadn't told her her parents were divorced yet. Of course, I genuinely thought about telling her and even had an entire essay written. But when the time came to send the message, my heart plummeted, and I couldn't conjure up the courage to press send. Oh, Hinako. Listen, your father and I, we divorced. Huh? <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, sweetheart. We signed the documents last week. But why? I told her everything I knew. I can't believe it! And with a woman 30 years younger than him? Since when was my father such a selfish freaking douchebag? Now, now. Calm down, honey. You're completely independent from us now, and the relationship between us has gotten pretty cold, so I thought I didn't think it was a terrible idea. Mom! Well, now let's cheer up. How about we go to a quaint restaurant nearby tonight? You're okay with the situation. I guess I'm happy for you. I'm just so angry at him. I'll never talk to him again. And then it happened, right as we were talking about things unrelated. Hey, honey, I just got a message from your father. Did he forget something? I wonder. Akiko, uh, I have something I want to talk to you about, if it's okay. What do you want this time? I just really need to talk to you. It's important. Are you free this Sunday? Well, yes. Well, then I'll be at your place this coming Sunday, so please get ready. So, what did he want? Apparently, he has something important to talk to me about. Something important? What the hell is he on about now? Who knows, but I think it's something he'd forgotten to tell me since we're divorced now. To be honest, I had no idea what was going on, and I had no clue to what he wanted with me. Perhaps he didn't have the money to pay me after all. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me want to lose my appetite. That night, Hinako and I had a wonderful dinner at a nice restaurant before going our separate ways until next time. However, as soon as I was alone, Takashi flooded my train of thought, and I couldn't help but feel uneasy about it all. He's here, maybe? Morning, Mom! Hinako? Dad hasn't come yet, right? No, he hasn't, but what are you doing? I couldn't help but be a little worried about him smooth-talking you to bend to his will. Come now, I'm not that old. However, I knew my loneliness was starting to get to me. Hinako is a very responsible adult, and her mere presence was enough to feel ready to face him. Thank you, sweetheart. I don't know what he's going to say to you, and I don't know how much help I can be, but I'm not going to let some asshole father who comes running to any young woman's call with his tail wagging win. Thank you, Hinako. Sometime later. Oh, that has to be him, right? Maybe. 
I opened the front door to find. It's been a long time, Akiko. Oh, you're here too, Hinako. <laughs> what the hell do you want? I was genuinely surprised at Hinako's strong words. How dare you, girl? That's not how you talk to your father. Hey, Akiko, maybe your discipline on her hasn't been so good, huh? A cheater has no right to say that. More importantly, Hinako, you knew that your mother and I got divorced? Uh, duh! So what is your business here? I'll get straight to the point. I come here today because I want to cancel the divorce. Huh? Listen, bucko, have you any idea what you're saying? Of course I do, Akiko. Will you please continue to be my wife? I've not even filed the divorce papers yet. We can still start over. I froze at his ghastly boldness. And you, Hinako, I'm sure you want to be my daughter again. That's when. Oh my god. I can't. This is disgusting. So disgusting. I could throw up right now. How to be my daughter again? You goddamn fat old pervert. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you owe for raising you to be a good, healthy adult? I don't remember you raising me. Stop it, both of you. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, Akiko, I want to hear how you feel. What do you think? Won't you start over with me? I must decline. Why? We were so much in love for so many years. What makes you think you have a right to say that? Those cannot be the words of a traitor. I do genuinely feel bad that I cheated on you, but I don't have a relationship with her anymore. Please give me another chance. No way. There's no way you ended your relationship with her in a week. Are you sure about that? If you divorce me, I won't even pay you the rent on this house. Why does it come to that? I already broke up with her, so my promise to pay the rent is null and void. What nonsense are you talking about? You're a housewife. If you don't have enough money to live on, coming from me, you won't be able to survive. He had the audacity to smile. <laughs> Who would have thought he would be this stupid? I decided to fight back instead of just putting up with his damn bullshit. I don't mind you refusing to pay the rent, you know? Huh? Enough boldness out of you. Um, you know, I make a living too, right? <laughs> a part-time job, huh? But eventually that'll physically drain you and you won't survive long term. Even that would be resolved if you started again with me, see? No, I'm telling you, I don't need you. I don't have a part-time job. So how do you claim to be making a living? Have a look at this. Mm? Is this a blog? Let's see, the tragic end of a man who played around with a young woman and left his wife? What the hell is this? I use your affair as my motif for a blog post. <laughs> so my affair is becoming a source of income for you? Are you freaking kidding me? Huh? That should be my goddamn line, bucko. Reality check, you didn't even come home at all after last week, did you? Why did you come back after all this time, huh? And now you say you want me to marry you again, huh? Keep your jokes to your own diabolical face, you old bastard. You don't have to go that far. Please, I beg you, give me another chance. Hell no! I'm not giving you another chance. Who the hell do you think you are? You know I won't pay you no matter what, right? I don't care. If one person constituting a couple decides to pay the living expenses of the other after voluntary discussions, it becomes possible to file for marital expenses sharing mediation at familial court. You could do that? What? You got divorced without knowing that, you old gas bag? For the last time, who do you think you're talking to, huh? Who do you think you're talking to? That's how it is. I would survive well even without the need for you to pay the rent. I'll make sure you pay me a year's worth like you promised. Shit. More to the point, who was the bitch you left mom for, huh? I thought I said I ain't dating her anymore. She's a 20-year-old woman working at a cabaret. The other day when I came home from work, I found a letter on the living room table. It said her mother in the country had fallen ill and she had to take care of her and whatnot, and so she asked me to reconsider marriage. Really? She deceived you completely. There's no way. She's not that kind of person. Wow, old man. You've gone totally bonkers. What? So, is that it? Is that all you're going to say? Then you can just go home. Y you're so cold, honey. And you used to be so nice to me. Maybe because I don't even like you anymore. Uh, no, please. 
Please, Akiko, reconsider. Think about this, please. Could you, like, not call me by my given name? You're angry about my affair, right? So you should be. But don't worry, I've already cut her away from my life. If you don't get out of here right now, I'll call the police. Please, let's not do anything rash. Nako, call the police. What? Tell them someone suspicious broke into our house and is now being such a bother to us. Huh? Mom, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I don't ever want to see this good-for-nothing bastard's face again. I understand. I'll leave you in peace this time, but I'll come back one more time instead. That, my ex-husband finally left the house. <sighs> he finally went home. But more to the goddamn point, you didn't need me at all. No, no, no. Thanks to you, Hinako, I found the courage I needed. Huh? But you seem so determined. But enough about that, I'm surprised that you even had a blog, Mom. Well, it's not exactly something you can boast about to other people, now is it? No, that's amazing, Mom. It's not like everyone can do something like that. So happy to hear that, honey. Well then, I think my work here is done. Oh, and I'm looking forward to reading your blog. Sure thing. Get home safe, okay? And my ex-husband never returned to the house after all. A week later, I was relaxing in the living room when my phone started to ring. Some unidentifiable number. I wonder who it could be. Hello? Yes? Uh, are you the ex-wife of one Yoshimura? Uh, yes, sir. But to whom do I have the pleasure of talking to? I was so upset to receive a call from somebody completely unrecognizable. The fact is, your ex-husband, ma'am, hooked up with my girlfriend, you see. So I decided to take him to the gang for a little bit to make things right. And that's when he said he wanted to talk to his ex-wife. What? Just then, from the other side of the phone... Akiko! Help me! What? Uh, about you, uh, it seems she's a Yakuza's girlfriend. And I don't give a damn if you want my help regarding what you brought on yourself. I'm begging you, please believe me. I was deceived. That stupid bitch. And after all the good I did her, she had the audacity to lie to me. Huh. <laughs> out of your gourd? When I came home from work, there was a huge intimidating man waiting for me at my front door, and he actually came to take me somewhere. My condolences. Goodbye. Uh, hey, honey! So, ma'am, we were gonna go ahead and keep this bastard in our grasp, but then he started wailing something, having promised to pay for your living expenses and rent and stuff. Could you maybe enlighten me a little about that there business? Oh, no, sir. All's under my control. I'm not in any jeopardy, and I'm surviving well. However, I do have one request. You ask we, the Yakuza, for a favor? My, 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 you're quite the courageous woman. He says he hasn't filed for divorce from me yet. Not making it official is going to be an inconvenience to me as well, so I'd like to go through with all the formalities promptly. Hey, you, where are the divorce papers, eh? I, in my bag! Oh, and here they are. I'll mail them to your house by the end of the day. How about that? Thank you, sir. As you were. And that marked the end of the phone call. According to Takashi, who claimed he was dead serious about Miss Yua, now admits to have financially spoiled her rotten in his relationships with her. In the end, in her eyes, Takashi, who was 30 years older than herself, was just a walking ATM, ready to vomit up money whenever she pleased. In the first place, there are not many young girls who are genuinely into middle-aged men. If one thought about it even for a couple of minutes, it would be obvious. As for me, I'm so ashamed that I myself was married to such a foolish man for so many years. My speculation is that Miss Yua's affair with him was discovered by the buff-sounding man, and she pulled out of it before it became troublesome. But it didn't turn out so well for her, because he told me he would sort her out as well as he. And now my grudge will be cleared up once and for all. In the meantime, my blog is spreading across social media like wildfire. I've slowly accumulated an audience, and now writing blog posts has become a fun hobby that I absolutely love. As for Takashi, what happened to him shall never be known to the public, I'm assuming. I'm going to start using my life by myself as a motif for the future blog posts. 
I had the name of the house changed to mine when I divorced the man, so I'm planning to move out at a good time. I don't think I'm in any danger, but the fact that the Mafia knows where I live, well... And sent me the divorce papers as he promised, and I'm safely single now. Hey mom, about your next post, why not write about marrying again, or matchmaking? Oh, I've had it up to here regarding marriage, sweetheart. But wouldn't it be nice to read? Divorced at 50, now resuming a dating life? Well, maybe. It does sound intriguing and fun. You don't really have to be married. And by all means, you could just go out and about with a friend you vibe well with. That's an idea. Oh, I know. How about you join me? No, no. We're not in the same domain, Mom. You're probably looking for people over 40 or something like that. You seem to know a lot about this stuff, but don't tell me. Ah! Okay, end of discussion. I'm expecting great new work from you anyway, coach. <laughs> Okay, that does it. I'm positive Hinako's also looking for someone to marry. This calls for some collaboration. Seems like my life onward will only become brighter and brighter.